Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? The Undisputed Man here with a uh, with an article again. Um, I want to say Happy New Year's to everyone. Uh, Happy New Year's, especially to the people who, who support the channel. And I know I don't have the best quality videos on YouTube, but I try my best. I love recording, especially off my phone. I have a GoPro, so I will be recording more videos on my GoPro. Um, uh, I want everybody to stay safe out there. Uh, don't get into trouble. Uh, whatever goals you have set for 2022, go accomplish those goals. I have some plans to accomplish some goals that I should have accomplished back in the day. So I didn't make any New Year's resolutions, but uh, I will be getting stuff done this year, going into next year, especially. Um, but anyways, we are back with an article to start off 2022. Uh, this is a article about women of why women love bad boys. And we hear this story all the time that women love bad boys. If you watch Fresh and Fit and you see the women that they bring on their show, they ask them a lot of different questions. A lot of these women have a troubled past. They date jerks, they date a-holes, they date men who are in prison or jail. I have women in my family who dated women uh, who was in jail or prison. My god sister, God bless her soul, rest in peace. Uh, she loved bad boys. She loved men who was in jail or prison. And these are the type of men that women like. These are the men that's confident. These are the women, the, the men that's emotionally unavailable. These are the men that don't give them whatever, whatever they want compared to the nice guy. The nice guy gives them everything they get stomped on. And women don't love the bad boys until they're 35 plus. They've been ran through by Pookie and Ray Ray. And they don't have any other options when it comes to men. So that's the only time that women love nice guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the article. And it's going to explain why women love bad boys. <coughs> so let's start. There are many women who run towards men their mothers always wonder about. It seems nature takes over these girls and pushes them to start dating boys with personalities that, on that only means trouble. Thanks to research, we now know why this happens and why girls choose to date who those chose choose to date those who can easily get them in trouble. Excuse me. Bright side is sharing scientific proof of why women can easily become blinded by men who have characteristics of a bad boy personality. These wicked boys wouldn't have the power to attract girls if their level of, of confidence was low. The point is that the level of confidence they possess is so high, it seems like their attitude is overflowing with it, which can be seen in their, in their friends, the vehicles they drive, the food that they choose to eat, and so much more. Ovulation pushes girls towards troubled boys. That's why we have a lot of single mothers in this country, because they choose bad boys during the ovulation cycle, which is around five days out of the month. They get they back blown out by these bad boys. They end up pregnant. They end up being single mothers because they don't know how to choose men. But anyways, women fall for bad boys because it's in their nature. Science says that when a woman is in her ovulation stage, her hormones influence who she sees as a great father figure for her future children. Near ovulation time, girls are attracted to good, good, good looking character, good looking, charismatic, and rebellious boys. The bad boy personality is more attractive. They simply don't care about anything. For them, there's no rule book for, for specific rules they follow. They make their own rules and it seems like they always live on the edge. Even though they love to be in trouble, be in control and are impassionate about their own beliefs, they still know the right way to treat a lady and make, their, make her feel pretty good. Ladies search for an adventurous and fun spirit. One of the signature characteristics of a bad boy is a, is a love for adventure and excitement. For women, it seems that if a man is not living in a wild life, it, it means they are not suitable for them. They just can't get enough of that adventurous spirit. Women feel protected around them. Girls choose bad boys over others because they want a male figure that they can be protected by. Most women who feel vulnerable are afraid of crime search. Afraid of crime search for a man who can protect them. In fact, their strong physical appearance is why women feel secure around them. Uh, girls choose attractive men over nice ones. Of course they do. 
In one study, women were given scripts with profiles from two different men and they had to choose which one they preferred. Most of the women picked the profile with good physical attributes while the nice guy wasn't often the final pick. Thanks to this research, we now know that the nice characteristic becomes a salient factor when choosing a partner for a serious relationship and instead, it's the manipulative characteristics that bad boys have that looks more attractive. Of course, women love bad boys Women love the bad boys because these are guys who are considered quote-unquote alpha males. The men who go to jail, the men who go to prison, the men who shoot other people, uh, the men who goes and steals. These are the men that, that that's, that's considered alpha males. But let's continue. They free the bad bo- They free the bad girl. I saw psychiatrist Robin McKay, PhD, explained that girls who have a concealed inner rebellious side are easily attracted to men who can release that one out of them. That release that out of them. Usually in girls, this this trait was suppressed during childhood, and one of the easiest ways for them to get it out, get it all out, is to start dating rebellious men. And this is just a bonus stuff. I'm not gonna read all this is just comments of what people are saying. But I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the article right there. So my opinion is to close out the video, women will always love bad boys. When you're a nice guy, when you're a guy that puts your coat over puddles, when you're the nice guy that opens doors for women, when you're the nice guys that when you're the nice guy that buy flowers on the first date, as much as women want to tell you that they like those things, they really don't like those things like that. If you watch Fresh and Fit, as I said earlier in the video, beginning of the video, if you watch Fresh and Fit, you see the girls that they bring on the show. They don't like the nice guy. The nice guy is considered a pussy. The nice guy is considered a wuss. The nice guy is considered a person who gets stomped on by the woman. When you do too much for a woman, especially when she hasn't earned it, she's going to stomp all over you. She's going to finesse you. Women women will always, always like the bad boys because these are guys, as I said earlier, who are emotionally unavailable. These are the guys that don't give them what they want without earning it for earning it first. These are the these are the guys who pause no homo are more are mostly attractive. They're over six feet. They make over hundred k a year, even over two hundred fifty k a year. These are guys that had that had the Lambos, etc. They have all these traits that women love. Nice guys, they don't really have all these traits. The nice guy is usually 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, He's like 180, 190. Sometimes if you have overweight guys like myself, who's 5'7", 260-something pounds, which I'm not supposed to be nowhere near the 200s. But women don't like those type of guys. They love, they love the guys with all these characteristics. So this article proves, and I'm going to find a better article in the future, <coughs> this article proved that Women love the bad boys. These are these are guys, as I said earlier, are considered quote unquote alpha males. And these are the guys that get most of the attention. These are the guys that get into the sack with women most of the time. And I, the nice guys don't get in the sack of women like that. Unless she's average to below average. But fellas, stop being a nice guy. Stop being a nice guy to women. They don't love you. They don't care about you. They don't want you to buy them flowers on the first day. They don't. They don't want you opening doors for them. This is twenty twenty two. The, the, the days of being chivalrous is dead. Women killed chivalry, and I'm not gonna be opening doors for women. I'm not gonna be doing all this crap, especially when I'm not getting no pussy on the uh, at the end of it. I'm not gonna be taking them out to dinners. None of that. If I'm taking you out to a dinner, I expect something in the end, even if it's not on the first day, but the second day, I expect to get in a sack with you. If I don't get in a sack with you, I'm just going to cut you off. It's that simple. So, uh, I'm going to end the video right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, share this video. Like the video. Leave your comments down below. Um, and I'll speak to you next time. Peace out.